Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I am the Franchise King. Some people accuse me of being a little too transparent when it comes to maybe some, some history about myself, uh, uh, my feelings and opinions on the franchise industry as a whole, uh, some of my comments and feelings about specific franchisors that I feel are pieces of crap. Um, but that's just how I am. And interestingly enough, the older I get, the less I care uh, about what people think. But I want to tell you about something that's really important for you to know um, about me if you're going to work with me or if you're going to read my articles and kind of maybe get a better feeling of where I'm coming from. A lot of people ask me, Joel, why did you leave franchise consulting, franchise brokering? Uh, you know, I heard you were making six figures, and I was. Uh, why, why the heck would you walk away from that? Well, let me be clear about one thing. I do miss the income. I, I do miss making big commission checks as a franchise consultant. I'm, I'm not going to kid you. But there are a few reasons I left uh, that industry, and, and one really important one has to do with the phone calls that I was starting to get towards the end of my career as a franchise consultant, franchise broker. Uh, some people even say franchise coach. Uh, they're, all, they're all one and the same. Uh, the phone calls I would get uh, consisted of, well, something like this. Joel, hey, this is, uh, this is uh, Janet McFarland. And uh, man, I, you know, I'm really struggling with the franchise business that you helped me, you know, buy. And, and I don't know what to do. And, and the conversation would go on. And um, uh, she would tell me things like, you know, the investment amount, while it was, you know, true uh, and factual and, you know, that was fine. The money that I have to put in this business to just, just to keep it afloat is crazy. Um, besides that, uh, uh, the fact that I'm getting behind on my rent and uh, uh, other things, I, I can't find any employees that'll stay. Um, the franchisor is not being really helpful. They were really nice when they were selling me the franchise, and now they're really kind of hard to get a hold of, and, and, and they don't really follow up very well. I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm thinking I, I, I'm going to have to close my business. I was getting more and more of these calls, and I was really starting to feel guilty. Uh, you know, there I was uh, getting paid $15,000 at the time. Now it's up to about $20,000. That's what franchise consultants make if they mash you to a franchise that they represent, um, at least $20,000. Uh, you know, it, it was great to make that money, but the guilt, as I said, was really setting in. And I was like, wow, I'm helping people find businesses, find franchise opportunities. They're buying them, and more and more of them are, are like going out of business or right on the cusp of going out of business. And it just, it wasn't feeling right. I got in the business, I feel, for the right reasons, you know? It was great to be able to be a matchmaker and to match people to franchises and to get paid for doing so, but not if they were going to go out of business six months later or a year later. Um, it just wasn't feeling right. So that is one of the really big reasons why I left uh, the franchise brokering uh, business. Um, now, I, I did go out on my own for a little bit. I left the, the group that I was with. It just, I, I didn't like it anymore. I didn't like being associated with, with, the, with the people at the top of this organization, of this franchise. And uh, so I went on my own and uh, I was able to sign contracts with like 90% of the franchisors that I had worked with when I was a member of the franchise consulting franchise that did it. Um, but it was just, it just wasn't feeling right. So that's why I said to myself, you know what? I'm probably gonna take an income hit but I, I, there's got to be a better way to do this. So I've been doing this for several years now, what I do now. And is, it, it, I guess I, I sell my expertise. I sell my knowledge of franchising and, and what I've seen go wrong and what I've seen go right in the franchise industry. And I share all that knowledge, including some inside information that I may know about franchisors that my clients are looking at. So the, the, the main reason that I left the, the six-figure income was because a lot of the people that I was helping, helping get into business were going out of business. And it just, it, it really, it, it killed me on the inside. Um, uh, also, one of the reasons, and, and I don't talk about this much, but the franchise consulting firm that I was with, the franchisor, um, the head of it was brilliant. And, and he was a great trainer, but he was really manipulative. And, um, 
it was hard for me after a while to believe some of the things he was saying. And it was just, it was just, it just didn't feel right anymore. Um, the guy was brilliant and, and, and a really good salesperson, a really good closer, a great speaker. But some of the stuff he was saying was just not computing anymore. And, and, it, and it, it just kind of led me to say, you know what, I need to go. Uh, so, so I'm glad I did. And as I said, I, I, I miss the income. I make a lot less money now. But I love what I do. I love helping people make smart decisions on franchise opportunities without getting a brokerage commission. Um, now, full disclosure, once again, there he goes. Joel's very transparent. Well, I am. I work with three, maybe four franchisors, um, and I help them do marketing. And if someone that I'm working with or someone who goes to my website uh, contacts one of these franchisors and becomes a franchisee, they throw me a bonus. You know, it's not uh, a crazy amount of money uh, like it used to be, but it's, it's nice. And it happens maybe once or twice a year maximum. Um, it's not something that I really push. Uh, you know, I, I don't try to, to really set people up to be franchisees of the marketing, of the franchises that I do marketing with, unless it like, huh, I have to tell them about this. But in general, like 99% of the things I do have nothing to do with the franchisors that I do marketing with. So I wanted to put that out there. Uh, but I don't make any brokerage commissions. So it is a really clean way to find a franchise that makes sense. A lot of people lately um, are choosing to work with me at the same time they're working with franchise consultants. A, franchi a franchise consultant, franchise broker, franchise co coach um, offers his or her services for free and gets paid by the franchisors. The franchisors are the actual clients. When you work with me, you are the client, all right? And it doesn't matter whether you buy a franchise or not, I get paid the same, all right? So that's the big difference. But I really wanted to share the main reason why I left uh, the franchise consulting, franchise brokering uh, uh, end of the industry. I love what I do now. And while the income isn't as great, it's, it's okay. Um, I, just, I just love what I do. And of course, you know, I've written some books and, uh, you know, I write for the Small Business Administration and some, some really cool opportunities have been sent my way uh, because of the way that I do business and, and how I do business. So that is, you know, part of my story. I am the Franchise King, Joel Labava. You know, go to thefranchiseking.com. Contact me, Joel, at thefranchiseking.com if you want to learn more. One more thing. P.S. Um, after some people see this video, um, they may decide to comment. Some of the people might be franchise brokers, franchise consultants uh, using aliases or even people that I work with. And their comments might say, oh, Joel, you had no problem making, you know, big fat commission checks years ago. You know, what has changed now? Well, I told you what has changed. All right. So that is it in a nutshell. I am Joel Lababa, the Franchise King. The Flying Crown is part of who I am. Thanks for watching.